Oh, it's Will Fulmer here joining me on the Firebirds Extra pregame show. Kevin Fitzgerald here with you. His first pitch is coming up at 5 o'clock. Montevallo infielder now stomping on the program with us. Unfortunately, with the crutches in this interview, I wish it, I wish it was not. But uh, I want to start with that quickly because it happened right here, you sustaining the injury to your right ankle. Going down the first base line right here at Red Wilson Field, it was kind of a freak injury. Talking to the coaches, talking to yourself and players afterward, no one even realized that you had gone down after the play, sprinting down the first base bag. What what actually happened? Is this the most freak injury you've kind of ever sustained? Well, actually, it started up. Uh, I usually wear uh, molded cleats, and that one time I was actually wearing metal spikes. I guess I'm not really used to them, and they just stuck in the ground and rolled my ankle, unfortunately. Kind of freak accident. And like you were saying, you're hopefully going to be back within the next couple weeks or so to this lineup. Uh, what is the? It's obviously tough to sit on the bench and have to watch these guys go out there. What is the one thing off the field that's just been the toughest to deal with? You told me that you used to be able to walk to the field. You live so close to Eldridge Park. What is the toughest thing off the field that you can't do while you're up here in the Cape? Uh, I don't really know. I don't think that off the field is really my concern. I guess it's more on the field. I just wish that I could be out there. But I get to watch the games a lot more and pay attention to what's going on. So I think that's a really, really good positive from it. And that's what I wanted to bring up. You're obviously not watching the game from second base, shortstop, wherever you are in the infield now. Now that you're in the dugout, what are some things? It's kind of a new kind of feeling here. You're watching the game from the dugout. What what kind of things do you pick up? Do you say, you know, while you're watching these guys up at the play, saying, oh, I think a fastball is coming, slider's coming, hey, step with this left fielder, step to the left to right here. You know, is there some things that you say to yourself thinking while you're in the dugout, things that you never even had kind of experience before out of the infield? Yeah, you kind of pick up on pitcher's tendencies, like what, he, what his body does when he's going to throw different pitches and uh, what pitches he throws in different counts, and you really get to pay attention to that when you're not playing in the game. Hopefully you'll give some guys some tips on Kyle Wood who's on the mound for the Whitey Red Sox. His first pitch is coming up at 5 o'clock. Firebirds extra pregame here with Will Fulmer. He's jumping on the program with us. You're a Florida guy. You play your college ball down at Montevallo. I want to talk about your season. You had a really solid year. You're the only player on your roster that's up here in the Cape League, obviously the best summer league all throughout the country and everything. What does that mean to you, that you're the only Montevallo prospect up here? You started out, got off to a great start before the injury. What was that like when you kind of got the call and said from Kelly Nicholson and the Orleans Firebirds that said, hey, we want you up here, we want you to play? You know, it was, it was pretty awesome getting the opportunity because I know not a lot of D2 guys get the chance to play up here. So I think it's just good to get the D2 players into the Cape so maybe I can be a stepping stone for other kids on my team so that I can let them be on the Right, and like you said, you can kind of build that name, the Monte, you know, Montevallo College down in Alabama. We'll touch on that in a second. You have a pretty interesting story about your collegiate career. You're going to be a senior at Montevallo this upcoming year. You were originally commit to Air Force. Uh, you know, you're going to head out to Colorado. What happened that made you kind of change your ways and then go to Montevallo? Well, I tore my UCL ligament in my elbow, so I had to get Tommy John surgery. And uh, that happened right after my senior year of high school. So I wasn't able to make it through basic training or anything. And the coach that was at Air Force uh, actually got the head coaching job at Montevallo. So he was really the big reason that I went to Air Force. So I just wanted to follow him, and I've loved it ever since. And I was going to say, it's Air Force is not probably the – it's a pretty unique college to go play baseball at. Were you always uh, interested in maybe aviation flying? Would you have kind of tinkered with that while you were out there at Air Force? Well, once I got out there and got to fly a few of the flight simulators, I just I fell in love with it, and I thought that's what I was going to do as my career after – going into the Air Force, but I'm glad where I'm at now, and I love it, loving in Alabama. That's pretty cool. You, this guy could be flying you sooner or later, maybe, as Will Fulmer here is on, on the Cape Cod Baseball with myself, Kevin Fitzgerald. First pitch is coming up at 5 o'clock, and you're a Florida guy. You grew up right around Tampa, but you're not a Tampa Bay Rays fan. You're a Yankees fan, so while you were growing up, it must have been pretty easy when the Rays were not the best team to go see Yankee games when they came down to Tropicana, wasn't it? No, uh, I was a huge Derek Jeter fan growing up. That's who I watched. I played shortstop. I always wore number two. But then once uh, Evan Longoria showed up in the Rays organization, I just fell in love with him. So I love going to see Rays games all the time, just getting to see him play. I love it. Yeah, like you said, they're a better team now, so it must be fun to go back home and watch some Tampa Bay Rays game, more so now than before. But, uh, Will, let's, let's finish up on this. You play in the – Peach Bell Conference. I think that's the coolest name for a conference of all time. But uh, at Montevallo, you're from Florida, but you're playing in Alabama. You got to tell me, what's the best Southern cooking meal? What would it be? What's your go-to while you're in Alabama? What is it? Uh, I guess fried chicken, definitely. That's what everybody loves. Fried chicken Fridays every Friday at the calf. So got to check that out. Chicken and waffles. Is that the specialty? Yeah, they have chicken and waffle uh, chips out there. I like it. They're, they're pretty good. 
You're going to have to get that recipe and bring it up to the cave. This is Will Fulmer here joining us on the Firebirds Extra pregame show. First pitch is coming up at 5 o'clock. And, Will, as always, get better, and thanks for stopping by, bud. Thank you.